Ah, uh, yes, one of our favorite subjects over here at the Fancy Banana, scary videos. We do love a bit of creepy capture on CCTV or a grainy security image of something not quite discernible, don't we? But we know you do as well, so we've put together a smorgasbord of strange videos and unexplainable sightings for your viewing pleasure. Go on, give your eyeballs a treat. From a definitely real werewolf in a cage somewhere in the world to a woman overtaken by a demon in a superstore, here are 20 scary videos that you should not watch alone. Number 20. Wolf in a Cage Well, yes, there's nothing hinky going on here at all. Absolutely nothing to see here. We're told that this is a person transforming into a werewolf in real life captured on camera. But if that's the case, why, oh why, is there this spooky and super distracting strobe light going off the whole way through? And also, you can see virtually nothing at all of the so-called transformation. There's a figure of sorts inside a cage, there's a certain amount of wailing and such, and a lot of flickering lights and general confusion. But that's about it. This is no American werewolf in London sort of transformation to be honest, and perhaps we've been spoiled by the movies, but really, if a human is turning into a wolf, then you would expect a bit more fur and a lot more howling. They say that this strange creature has been locked away for years, which seems as though that might make it very cross indeed. And perhaps we should be more concerned about animal cruelty at this point, instead of just watching the old YouTube videos about it. But who can say? So what do you smashing people think about this wolfy business? Is this even remotely convincing? Or am I just being an old cynic who's watched too many janky internet videos? Let's get into a probe old-fashioned discussion about it in the comments down below, shall we? I really want to know what you think. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Half Human, Half Dog Found in South Africa this footage would be captured in the Limpopo area of South Africa. It's said to show a half-human, half-dog, person, creature, thing, but frankly, this super grainy and conveniently far away footage is hardly what I would call conclusive proof, would you? While this figure does seem somewhat unusual, there's no proper evidence that it's anything much at all. Maybe a person walking on all fours? I don't know, I'm no expert. <laughs> But this snippet of footage from the internet may not be concrete proof of anything much at all. Who can possibly say? What do you think is going on in this slightly suspect video? Is this a human dog, or perhaps a dog human? Or a person mucking about? Or a dog with unusual legs? Perhaps it's another species altogether. We need to crack this mystery together, so get on it in the comments down below. Number 18. Real Paranormal Activity Caught on a Security Camera Yes, here we are once again with some more of that totally real paranormal activity that's been so fortuitously captured on a security camera. Huzzah for all that ghostly goings on. This time we're inside what we're told is a shop. The people who have uploaded this video to YouTube claim that they had been having trouble with vandals breaking in and doing stuff to the shop, or at least that's what they thought was happening. So they set up these security cameras in an attempt to capture the culprits on camera, and they say that the footage shows not vandals, but rather ghosts. Yes, it is definitely ghosts. There's no other reasonable explanation for why or how a wheelchair could move across a room seemingly on its own, or how locker doors could open and close of their own volition. Definitely ghosts, and I'll hear nothing more about it, thank you very much. The end. Number 17. Is this the mythical chupacabra? Mysterious man-like creature filmed roaming through the Portuguese desert. 
Ooh, this is strange. A very long-armed nudie person with an unusual walking style was filmed in the desert in Portugal. There is definitely nothing suspect or even odd about this video at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it's completely legit. When anyone ever sees Bigfoot or Nessie or, you know, any made-up, <laughs> I mean definitely real creature, they're always really far away and using a rubbish camera when it happens. How is this the case? I mean, most of our our phones have better cameras than any actual cameras we might still have, and yet when it actually counts, all these videos turn out super grainy and tricky to see. Why is that? Why are all the cameras against us? This camera has managed to capture a fairly fuzzy and brief video of a man-like creature having a casual stroll in the midday sun in an undisclosed Portuguese place. While there do appear to be people around the area, the footage is the best that we've got. So what does it mean? Who is this bendy-kneed, strolling, pale individual? And what are they doing? Also, where did they disappear to? There are so many questions. Perhaps some of you big-brained individuals can figure this one out and let me know all about it in the comments down below. Number 16. Haunting video of a doll coming to life in Mexico. So here we have a video that alleges to show a doll coming to life, but if coming to life means that your hair lifts up and down, then I think I may have gotten the wrong end of the stick about what makes something alive or not. The scene is of a little girl playing with a doll while another sits toward the side of the frame. That in and of itself is not especially unusual, except that there's a distinctly staged feeling about the whole video. For starters, isn't it kind of weird that the room is wired up with security cameras? That is the most creepy thing going on here, if you ask me. Then the doll is supposed to be coming to life. While it doesn't especially show any interesting movements, it could have at least had a Chucky style wander about and a bit of knife wielding. Floating hair doesn't really cut it. But hey, what do I know? What do all of you magnificently big brained viewers think about it? What do you suppose is actually going on in this video and do you even care? And also, if you feel like weighing in on excessive surveillance, that should be pretty fun too. Number 15. Hantu Pukong. Well, this is particularly creepy. Pokong is the word for being wrapped in a shroud. The shroud in which a dead person is wrapped is a kind of white fabric that's tied over the head, feet, and neck. And a pokong is a kind of ghost that's said to be the spirit of a dead person that has been trapped in their death shroud. Isn't that just lovely? Well, according to Muslim tradition, the shroud is a prescribed length of cloth in which the deceased is wrapped. In Indonesia, they believe that the soul of the departed actually doesn't quite depart until 40 days after death, and then the ties over the shroud should be released. Otherwise, people say the body will jump out of the grave to tell people that the soul needs to be set free. Then, as long as all the ties are undone and the soul can get out and all that jazz, then it'll leave the earth forever. But if it doesn't all happen correctly, then there's a chance that the person's soul will simply remain trapped in the shroud and take up all kinds of scary haunting instead. This sounds like a Halloween ghost costume, all white sheets and whatnot, but I should think it's probably all rather scarier than that. Number 14. Strange Creature Attacks Some People now, if we all believed everything we saw on the internet, then we would be in serious trouble. And it seems as if we're still somewhat gullible when it comes to grainy old black and white camera footage from CCTV cameras and the like. The thing is though, one of the easiest, not to mention cheapest ways of making a low budget horror movie is by using this technique. It really does seem to capture something in all of us, some kind of primal anxiety as if the rudimentary nature of the capture somehow adds a layer of legitimacy to the footage. And if you're old enough to remember when the Blair Witch Project came out, then you may also remember the hype around that particular movie. It was billed as being real, it was shot on handheld camcorders, and was grainy and cheap looking. All of the angles were weird and there was no steady cam, so basically it looked homemade and that's what freaked everybody out completely. That realism is a really good way to get people believing in your film. This has nothing to do with this extremely real footage of people being attacked by an extremely real mysterious creature, which then dons an extremely real mysterious spooky cloak and walks out of the shot. No, it has nothing to do with that at all. Number 13. Strange Creature Slays Two Dogs in Santa Fe, Argentina Here we have another case of a strange creature. Seems like 
there's a lot of that going around these days, doesn't it? This time, it's another possible chupacabra, an ancient mythical creature from Latin folklore. This half-human, half-beast figure is believed to be a kind of vampire-like creature that stalks the night, and apparently one's been spotted in Santa Fe, Argentina. That's what this image is said to be, anyway. This is alleged to be the so-called chupacabra that killed a German shepherd and a pit bull before taking a stroll down the street. But what the heck is it really? Some people are convinced that it's just a savage, mythical beast. Others have said it looks more like a camel. <laughs> what do you think's going on here? And do any of us really care? Number 12. Ghost in Carcaduma Court, Delhi Yes, it's clearly a ghost. There's nothing suspect about any of these security camera footages. All of it seems totally and completely real and legit. Here we are, allegedly with a security guard somewhere in Karkaduma Court Complex in the city of Delhi in India. And what we're told is that there's a naughty ghost doing some hauntings in this place. It appears as though the ghost troubles itself almost entirely with fiddling around with computers. Even though there's a lovely wheelie chair right there to be pushed across the room, we all know how much a ghost loves a nice whizzy seat, don't we? This alone makes the whole situation surprisingly suspicious. I mean, what kind of self-respecting ghost doesn't take full advantage of a twirly-whirly office chair? It just makes no sense whatsoever. However, here we are, and what we're being told to believe is that there's been this so-called paranormal activity in many parts of the building. A supposedly white, shadowy figure has been seen doing some haunting stuff all over the complex, and the craziest thing that this ghost seems to have done? Well, turned on the computers, actually. Wow. It's completely wild. I mean, this ghost is out of control. Number 11. Slender Man Captured on Video Stalking About on the Rooftops Ah, <laughs> a fictional character that's developed from an internet meme is definitely stalking the rooftops of Mexico. This is absolutely certain. The Slender Man is a weird, long, featureless man-shaped being that looks to some people to be like an alien, and to others he's more like a ghost. And to others still, he's just a stupid internet meme and not really anything at all. But here we are again, believing everything that we see on the internet and adding more videos and junk on top of the existing dumpster fire that is the World Wide Web. What are we even thinking? This very low quality snippet of video shows a naked man-shaped figure, which appears to have an extra long head area. The figure scrabbles up over the rooftop in this footage, which is apparently from Mexico, and this has sent all the internetty alien hunters hunters into hysterics, as these things are wont to do. The video was allegedly captured by the owner of the building on the outskirts of Nueva Laredo City in Mexico, who heard strange noises and then took a look outside to see what was going on. Then he took this video of the long slender man with a small head, and he put the video up online and people stuck their oars in the water. The best explanation for all these goings on being that, according to some UFO people, Mexico is the most active country on Earth for alien sightings. This, they say, is because there are alien bases beneath most of Mexico's volcanoes. Because of course they are! It couldn't be that aliens are cocaine fiends and they're tracking down the drug cartels. Number 10. Strange Creature Found in the Woods Time for yet another strange creature, where again, we're in the woods. What a fun one we're having today. Well, I'm blowed if I can see anything, much of anything at all in this appallingly poor quality video. Let me know if you fare any better with this nonsense. This is a little bit of shabby video footage of a bunch of people sitting around at a campsite. So far, so regular. And then something just seems to jump down onto the roof of their caravan, which in turn makes everyone shriek with surprise and leap all about. And whatever the creature might have been, it certainly isn't going to stick around long enough for anyone to have a closer look. And you can't blame it, really. Not with all the screaming and jumping, anyways. The people who uploaded this video claimed that it looked a bit like a possum. Probably was. But then they thought that it was green. And it probably wasn't. But as you can see, it is clearly not enough to figure anything out at all. Go ahead, though, and enlighten the heck out of me if you know something that I don't. Or just have a go at me. You know, whatever works for you. Number 9. Real Thor Caught in New York Ha <laughs> ha, brilliant. A 14 second clip of some very authentic and real footage of Thor. You know, a fictional character from a movie, or if you're kind of old school, maybe it's the Norse god himself. 
Whatever you think about Thor, I think we can probably all agree that this is just a load of old baloney and that's that. A guy in the sky doing thunder? Huh, yeah, it's definitely real. And it's definitely Thor. Because why wouldn't this happen in the sky next to an old apartment building in New York City? Go on, tell me I'm wrong and why I'm a moron. You know you really want to. Number 8. Paranormal State in a Nightclub in Chicleo. Here we go with a bit of black and white grainy CCTV footage which we're told was captured outside of a nightclub in the city of Chicleo in Peru. This video shows a bunch of people milling about outside and then a young woman comes down the stairs and heads across the courtyard. She then appears to be talking on her mobile phone and seems to notice something off in the corner behind the stairs, but this is obviously out of the shot so we can't really see what it might end up being. Suddenly though, she falls backwards and drags herself across the ground as if trying to get away from something and that's still something that we can't see and neither can any of the other people in the frame for that matter. These other people do see the young woman acting all crazy and clambering around on the floor though and they rush to her aid but don't seem to be aware of what made her behave that way in the first place. So is it something supernatural? A spooky ghost perhaps? Or maybe just someone lurking in the shadows? Maybe it's something really disgusting. There is of course the possibility that this young woman has partaken in some kind of enhancing substance, an adult beverage, and is seeing pink elephants. Stranger things have happened in nightclubs than a person overindulging, but who can possibly say? Number 7. Mysterious Humanoid Creature Stalking Moose in Canada and if you're back at home looking at footage you've taken on an outing into the woods, it's only then that you'll notice something odd. Then that it's likely an issue with your footage or perhaps you were super lucky to avoid a close encounter with something scary in the woods. Something that is humanoid is, let's face it, probably a human. And if you're not aware, there are all sorts of different kinds of people out there. Oh man. Mm -hmm. They come in all shapes and sizes, they don't look exactly the same, and they occasionally have faces or shapes or bodies that might be considered unusual by societal standards. But are we going to start peering at grainy footage and screeching about it because the figure in the background might not meet our rigid beauty standards? I mean again, time for a little chat with yourself. This footage was taken in a remote area of the Canadian wilderness in Quebec, but do we really believe that there's yet another undiscovered life form that's six feet tall and human shaped or is this just a person in the woods you know like the other person who was out there filming it number six most shocking ghost sighting real paranormal activity caught on cctv camera this is a video which purports to be absolute proof of paranormal activity. It seems to depict a ghost girl who looks a fair bit like the woman with all the hair in that movie The Ring, to be honest. She appears to pop up on the road briefly and then disappear again, only to reappear and startle a man on a motorcycle. The man swerves to avoid hitting the ghost girl with his bike, but when she vanishes again, he freaks out and runs away. For why? Why would you get off your motorbike and run away from a scary thing on foot? It makes no sense at all. The footage itself is being shown to us on a screen by a person who points at whereabouts this manifestation occurs and why are we viewing it on a screen to see another video is beyond me. But hey, this is the internet and anything can happen here it would seem. Just how shocking was the ghost sighting though? I mean, the guy on the bike seems kind of shocked, but if he was making a video in which his character was shocked man on motorcycle, then he would probably look like that, wouldn't he? Or am I being a dreadful old cynic about all this absolutely real and authentic paranormal activity that we're witnessing? witnessing here today. Let's link some mud in the comments section down below. Number 5. Haunted Thai Girl Using Mental Power Ah yes, this is definitely not street theater at all. There's absolutely not a whiff of amateur dramatics in any way, shape, or form. This group of definitely not actors leave the building somewhere in Thailand and begin a very loud argument in the street, thus drawing lots of attention to themselves. They then get proper cross about whatever they're in disagreement about, and as a video viewing audience, we all begin to wonder exactly what's going on. Why are we watching this? What the chuff are they saying anyways and do we even care at all just as your finger begins to hover over the x to close out the window something finally happens on the screen and it appears that one of the young women in the group has used psychokinetic powers to throw one of the men against the side of the building yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, that's most definitely what happened. Then she does the same to the other guy, all while seeming to be quite unnerved by the whole thing herself. People around her begin to scatter in fear, and she knocks over some stuff just to make the effect more impactful, and then she throws the second guy against the side of the building again. Oddly enough, though, he flies up and across in exactly the same way as he did before, as if he had practiced this move many times. But, you know, that's how telekinesis works, I suppose. What do you all think's going on here? And can anyone tell me what they're actually arguing about? Number 4. Mothman Caught on Dash Cam so this is the legendary Mothman, a creature from West Virginia folklore, which is a humanoid, man-sized bird-like figure that seems to haunt a particular area around Point Pleasant, West Virginia. The sightings of the Mothman happened back between November of 1966 and December of 1967, and it obviously captured the public's imagination, and plenty of news reports were published during that time. There was also a book that was produced by Gary Barker in 1970 that would introduce the Mothman to a wider population. And then, in 1975, John Keel wrote The Mothman Prophecies, which would then be adapted into a film starring Richard Gere in 2002. So, The Mothman has a bit of a history, so much so that, not to miss out on a trick, there's an annual festival devoted to the Mothman legend in Point Pleasant every year. The red-eyed, black-winged figure has apparently been up to his old tricks again, as someone has captured something on a dash cam and then slung it up on the old YouTubes for all of us to enjoy. Oh, lucky old us. But frankly, if this is the Mothman, then I don't know what all the fuss is about, because it looks more like a slightly creepy Christmas ornament in someone's front yard, or perhaps even a Halloween one with light bulbs for eyes, or whatever. Who gives a hoot at this point? It's certainly not the Mothman, that seems fairly obvious. But go ahead, you know best, and you can tell me what it is. Number 3. Creepy Video Footage of Woman Climbing on the Wall there's something deeply unsettling about the way this woman in the video is moving, but the more you watch, the more it seems as though there's something suspicious going on. Do you think that she is something supernatural, or is she just a human with a hidden rope? As you would anticipate, there has been a huge amount of speculation about all this, both on the internet and on the more chattier television shows. Apparently filmed in Malaysia, this footage shows the figure climbing up the outside of a building in a rather unusual manner. So are we witnessing a burglar with some special skills or a climbing enthusiast. Perhaps it's a video that's made for all those internet clicks. This ghostly white frocked woman has definitely captured the imaginations of the easily spooked and set off the alarm bells of those who err on the side of skepticism. But perhaps what it is that really gets to everyone is the unnatural movements that this woman seems to be making. Anyone who's watched certain Japanese horror movies is likely to get chills from this kind of thing. Ah, genuine or not, it just gives me the wiggins. Number 2. Strange Creature Freaks Out Plantation Workers in Sarawak Well, this one is just kind of horrible, and really, being surprised by something is no excuse for beating it to within an inch of its life, but apparently this is the excuse that these Malaysian workers used when they were asked to explain themselves. The poor, unfortunate animal that accidentally wandered onto the plantation in Sarawak in Malaysia was too unusual looking for these men to handle, so they beat the hell out of it until it lost consciousness. The strange-looking creature turned out to be a rare Malayan sun bear, and they almost became even more rare in that moment. The actions of these plantation workers have been widely condemned on the account of the unnecessary brutality of the attack. They caught the whole incident, including the unpleasant beating part on camera, so that's unfortunately what you've had to watch. Sorry about that. Number 1. Shrieking woman appears to become possessed while shopping in a supermarket. I mean, honestly, some people really will do anything for attention, won't they? This video is apparently from a store's CCTV footage, showing a woman who seems to be shopping for a duvet cover. I mean, who hasn't been overwhelmed by emotion during such an intense event? She reaches for a package and then begins a series of rather dramatic convulsions in which her body behaves a bit like we've seen in horror movies depicting stuff like demonic possession. But who can say? She then seems to be thrown to the floor, or she then begins hollering and screaming as if in pain or 
indeed in the throes of demonic possession. It's definitely one or the other. I mean, what else could it possibly be? Surely nobody would ever stage such an incident or do anything quite so theatrical in a supermarket. As people rush to her aid, she then continues with all the screaming and wild body movements, and perhaps she just realized the duvet covers were not available in 100% cotton. That's enough to push any of us over the edge. I mean, poly cotton mix? No thank you. That's just a step too far. Well, I do rather hope that you didn't watch all of these videos alone. There's some distinctly disturbing stuff going on out there, even if it is just the fact that there are so many people that have so many shabby videos stuffing up your eyeballs with all their nonsense, but there you go. What did you make of all these totally genuine, authentic, creepy things? And which one's given you the heebie-jeebies? As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out all of the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.